Your Sims 4 mods folder might be silently destroying your game, and you probably don't even know it. Missing hairs, mods that don't show up, random crashes with zero error codes, and you've done everything right, haven't you? Yeah, this is fine. But here's the twist. The more mods you add, the less control you actually have. Unless there's a tool that fixes all that. Not just another mod, but something that manages your mods for you, sorts them, flags broken ones, even lets you swap entire mod setups with one click. Sounds too good to be true? I get it, but this isn't guesswork. I've helped dozens of simmers clean up messes like these through my Patreon and Gumroad. Sometimes it's a folder full of duplicates. Sometimes it's a corrupted script hiding inside another mod. I've seen it all. Mods that break the game silently, saves that won't load, CC that vanishes after updates. So when I say this tool can fix it, I'm not just reading off a website. I'm showing you exactly what I use when I clean up broken Sims 4 setups every week. We're talking about the Sims 4 Mods Manager, a completely free tool that takes your chaotic mods folder and turns it into something organized, readable, and actually manageable. In this video, I'll show you how to download it safely without landing on fake sites, install and configure it right the first time, and detect duplicate mods and broken content. Now let's get the actual installer. Go to the official website, official link in the description. Completely being honest, I totally googled Sims 4 Mods Manager while I was recording this. Don't do that, seriously. There are tons of fake or outdated versions floating around that'll waste your time or worse, break your mods. Did you know downloading the wrong version can cause more headaches than it solves? Download the Windows version if you're running Windows. There are macOS versions too, so don't worry about it. When the installer finishes, right-click it and select Run as Administrator to avoid permissions issues when scanning your mods. I didn't do that here and got lucky, but don't count on it next time. Next, 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 finish. No rocket science. When you open the app for the first time, there's a setup wizard. Because I already had it installed before, I can't show that part. But if you want to walk through this word for word, Skip that and follow me to configure everything from inside the app. Go to settings, the gear icon on the left menu, and open the general tab. Here's the most important part. Set your folder paths correctly. Your Sims 4 mods folder isn't in your origin or Steam install folder. It's actually inside your documents folder. Set these exactly. Mods folder. Documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, mods. Game Folder, Documents, Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4. The game folder at the end here is actually the weird one out here. You'll be selecting the folder in the program files that has the game. If you move the game to an external drive like I show in many of my videos, go ahead and put that folder here instead. Game Folder, EA Origin Steam, C, Program Files, EA Games, The Sims 4. Sadly, if these are wrong, the app won't scan your mods properly. It won't find duplicates, broken mods, or even detect mods at all. Here's some hopefully not so boring tech insight. The Sims 4 loads mods by reading every package file it finds, folder by folder alphabetically. If you have two copies of the same mod, maybe one in the main mods folder and one hiding inside a subfolder, the game tries to load both silently. It doesn't choose the newer or better one, it just loads both many times causing conflicts. Did you ever wonder why you get weird bugs missing UI elements? Sims acting oddly or crashes with no error messages? This is why. And the worst part? It might work fine one day, then break the next. Duplicates are the silent killers. If you've downloaded a mod multiple times from places like Tumblr or Pinterest without cleaning up old copies, you're definitely at risk. And don't play coy, I know you people out there download those massive zip file mod folders from YouTubers. The game loads all those copies and crashes or bugs out quietly. That's why your Sims' eyes could be floating somewhere else, or your favorite CC suddenly disappears. Imagine never having to wonder if your mods are causing problems. One of Alex's Sims 4 customers learned the hard way why online security isn't optional. She downloaded mods using public Wi-Fi, and within days, her entire external drive, where she stored all of her Sims 4 saves, mods, and custom content, was completely white. Not a single file could be recovered even with professional data recovery tools. When Alex checked her system, he found four Trojan viruses running in the background. What could have possibly gone wrong? This is exactly why gamers need a VPN with built-in threat protection. 
a service like NordVPN encrypts your connection, keeping hackers from stealing your data, and its threat protection blocks dangerous downloads before they can destroy your files. And right now, NordVPN is just $3.39 a month, with 72% off of their two-year plan, plus up to a year free. It's high speed, protects up to 10 devices, and could be the difference between keeping your files safe or losing everything. Avoid the nightmare before it starts. Check the link in the description and secure your connection today. This is what makes the Sims 4 Mods Manager so powerful. The Mods Manager scans every mods file, even those buried deep in subfolders, and lists them with details, names, sizes, install dates, and highlights duplicate or broken files. You can toggle mods on and off easily, filter by type like script mods, and search for issues. Now, to find duplicate mods. Look at the left sidebar of the app. There's a menu with different categories. Click the Tools icon. Next, click on Exact Same File. This will show you every duplicate mod file the manager has found. Here, the Mods Manager lists all duplicates side by side with details like their names, sizes, and install dates. You can scroll through and manually pick which copies to delete or save time with the next step. Here's a neat time saver. At the top of the duplicates list, you'll see a Delete All button in red. It's going to delete all of the mods marked in red as you see here. But before clicking, take a quick glance to make sure these are truly duplicates you want to remove. Once you're sure, click Delete All, and the tool will instantly clear out all duplicate files in one go. This is especially helpful if your mods folder is cluttered with multiple copies from downloads or old backups. Just be cautious though, only delete duplicates when you're certain it's safe. If you're tired of random file deleting, endless reinstalls, or confusing backups, this tool is your lifesaver. If you want me to personally help organize your mods or fix crash loops, I offer one-on-one -on -one support on Patreon and Gumroad, so your Sims 4 modding experience is about to get way smoother. You're not just installing a manager, you're taking back control of a system never meant to handle tons of mods. Try it out and let me know if you want a follow-up video on fixing broken mods or creating backups. Subscribe if this helped you and check the links in the description for official downloads and help. Until next time, working with EA support and their forums can be a bit of a gamble and you might get help or you might not. And if you play with mods like I do, you're not even officially supported. That's why I offer a dedicated service where I take care of all the heavy lifting for you. Through remote sessions, I work directly with you to solve your Sims 4 issues, whether it's fixing a game that won't load, moving your game or save files to another drive, troubleshooting mods, or tackling any other technical issues with your game. I handle all the hard work so you don't have to, making sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Check out the description for more details on how to subscribe and get your Sims game fixed today. And by the way, this isn't just for Sims 4 players. If you're still enjoying the charm of The Sims 3, I can help you out there too.